With the name of Allah, I am Faisal Abaydullah, professor of accounting. I am wishing for you to be happy and healthy. Let me start our lecture in cost accounting for the fourth year faculty of commerce. One of our subjects in cost accounting is process costing. Process costing is used in companies having continuous flow production, such as pencils, clips, chemicals, drugs, and machines. To determine the cost of outputs of manufacturing process, there are two methods, weighted average costing method and first in first out or FIFO costing method. I will start by weighted average costing method. The weighted average costing method has five steps. Number one, summarize the flow of physical units. Number two, calculate the equivalent number of units produced. Number three, summarize the total costs to be accounting for. Number four, calculate costs their equivalent unit and prepare the production cost report. The first step in weighted average costing method is prepare the flow of physical units. I will solve example number two that is the following is the flow of physical units for a manufacturing company required fill in the missing blanks. The company has three processes A, B, and C. Beginning inventory in process A is 700 with completion degree 30%. In process B, question mark, completion degree is 45%. In process C, 300 units beginning inventory with completion degree 35%. You also started which will mark in the three processes total inputs in process A 4200 units and the question mark is in process B and C. Units completed and transferred out in process A and B question mark is and in process C 3600 units. Ending inventory 400 units in process A with completion degree 50 percent, 700 units in process B with completion degree 20 percent, and the question mark in process C with completion degree 90 percent. Total outputs question mark in process A, 5,000 in process B, and question mark in process C. Now we need to fill in the missing blanks. In process A, total inputs are 4,200 units. Beginning inventory is 700 units. That means units started equal 4,200 minus 700 equal 3,500 units. Total inputs equal total outputs. Total inputs equal 4,200 units. That means total output equal 4,200 units. Minus 400 units. The ending inventory equal units completed and transferred out 3,800 units. That is in process A. In process B, Units completed and transferred out equal units started. So units started in process B will be 3,800 units. Total outputs in process B are 5,000. 5,000 minus 700 ending inventory equal units completed and transferred out 4,300 units. Total output 5000 equals total inputs 5000. So total inputs in process B equal 5000 minus you also started 3800 units equal beginning inventory 
1200 yuans. In process C, yuans completed and transferred out. In process B, equal yuans started in process C. So yuans started in process B will be 4300 yuans. Plus, beginning inventory, 300, the total inputs equal 4600 yuans. Total inputs equal total outputs. So the total outputs in process C equal 4600 yuans. Minus yuans completed and transferred out, 3600 units equal ending inventory 1000. The second step in process costing is determine equivalent units. Equivalent units equal units completed and transferred out times 100% plus ending inventory times completion degree. For example, in the previous example, beginning inventory 700 units, units started 3500 units, total inputs 4200 units. The output, the output units completed and transferred out 3800 units and ending inventory 400 units. To determine equivalent units in process A, equal units completed and transferred out 3800 units times 100% plus ending inventory 400 units times completion degree 50% equal 4000 units so the equivalent units in process A is 4000 units. The third step is summarize the total courses to be accounting for. Total courses consist of direct material, direct labor and indirect manufacturing costs. This data will be given in our examples, but in a company, you can get this data from the accounting books. Step number four is calculating cost per equivalent unit. I will discuss this point in the next lecture. Goodbye.